I have before me the 2022 and the 2023 ASUS Republic of Gamer Zephyrus G14. Now this is the $1,649 from 2022, the base model, and this is the roughly $1,599 model from 2023. The craziest part about this review is you're going to be shocked that the 2022 actually outperforms the 2023 on a number of key benchmarks, which indicates that you should maybe not consider the base model in 2023, but some upper tier model. Now the models we have before us, the 2023 has the RTX 4060 and the Ryzen 9 7940 HS with 16 gigs of single channel RAM. The 2022 model has the Ryzen 9 6900 HS and the RX 6700S from Radeon with dual channel 16 gigs of RAM. So that means there's two eight gig sticks, one soldered to the motherboard and one in the swappable slot on the motherboard. The 2023 model comes with a 16 gig stick soldered and no additional RAM stick. It's unoccupied for that occupiable RAM slot. So some pretty key differences here. Now, before we get into those benchmarks that will rock your socks off, let's go ahead and check out some of the key differences from the usability and design standpoint from this year. First and foremost, goodbye glimmering keyboard. Let's all shed a tear for the glimmering keyboard from 2022. It kind of had this like, iridescent sheen to the top of the keycaps, that has gone away on the 2023 model. However, the iridescent sheen on or iridescent on the keyboard deck still exists. Now we still have the nice large trackpad. Uh, however, we ditched out the purple badge for a silver badge in 2023. So no more iridescent keyboard, no more purple badge. Let's all take a moment of silence. Okay, over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find any anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need, all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two-week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening, actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. Now that we've taken a moment of silence for the design changes, let's get into the performance changes. Now, like I mentioned, the biggest change is how it comes from the factory. We now have 16 gig solder to the motherboard with an unoccupied RAM slot versus 2022, we had eight gig solder and a eight gig stick in that occupiable RAM slot. So that can be swapped. Now, the nice thing about it coming with 16 gigs is you don't have to throw away the eight gig stick and put in a 16 gig stick. So you're not wasting a piece of technology. You can order the laptop from the factory, throw in your own 16 gig stick and immediately have 32 gigs of RAM rather than 24 gigs of RAM that offered 2022. How does this all translate from a performance standpoint? Well, where the benchmarks come in most notable from the single versus dual channel standpoint is going to be in Photoshop. For the 2022 model, the Asus Republic of Gamers Zephyrus G14 scored a 939 in the Photoshop benchmark, whereas the 2023 model scored a 915. Not a huge difference, but enough to show you that the performance in the new GPU were not enough to overcome the single versus dual channel memory, which means that the 2023 model is not as big of a performance bump 
as for Photoshop users as we, as we all would have hoped. Struggling with English here. Now, the next thing to look at is 3D modeling. So we went from an RX Radeon GPU in 2022 to an NVIDIA RTX GPU. Now, the first thing that I guessed, which became true during my benchmarks, is you're gonna lose performance in SolidWorks. So if you're a SolidWorks user, the 2022 model is the way to go. As you can see in 2022 for SolidWorks, it scored a 163 versus the 2023 model, which scored a 109. Now, this is historically because RTX GeForce GPUs from NVIDIA do not work well in SOLIDWORKS. They're not uh, tooled correctly. If you want a really good NVIDIA GPU for SOLIDWORKS, you should get a workstation GPU, like an A2000, A3000, A5000, etc. Versus the Radeon RX 6700S is tooled very well for SOLIDWORKS and therefore had great performance in last year's models. So we switched over from AMD to NVIDIA. Was this a good idea? Was it not? So far, if you're a 3D modeler, it wasn't a great idea if you're a SOLIDWORKS user. However, if you're an Autodesk Maya user, you did see a bump in performance. We scored a 307 in 2023 versus a 236 in 2022. Almost a 70 point increase in performance. So that is where you see the cookie crumble for those benchmarks. Now, looking at Cinebench R23, we scored a 1582 in the single core from last year's model, 2022. And in 2023, we scored an 1830, which says the big bottleneck right now is kind of that single channel RAM. That was a good idea for the upgrade path, but not a great idea for the laptop coming directly out of the factory. Now I have a full video about upgrading this laptop to 32 gigs of RAM and then checking the performance. So you're definitely gonna to want to click or tap the screen when you get to the end of this video. And if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability about either of these laptops, head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. And you're probably wondering why I'm talking so fast. Well, it's because people click our videos so fast. So I got to work really fast so you don't click off the video and I keep you really excited about the content. After Effects, this is another program that really likes RAM. And last year we scored a 795 in After Effects and this year we scored a 801. Now I ran the test multiple times to try and get that high of a score. Most scores came back in like the mid 700s. So tomato, tomato, I would honestly say that this laptop is basically on par with last year's model. Now, again, I'm gonna run that 32 gig test and see how much better performance we can get. But as it comes out of the factory, I'd still lean 2022, especially if you can get a discount on one of these laptops from 2022. It's a no brainer. Now I will be reviewing, hopefully, fingers crossed, Asus reached out to me and they said they have an RTX 4090 version of the G14. So I would love to review that to see if that would give us that bump in performance that we were hoping from 2022 to 2023. Now let's take a look at video editing. This was pretty mind blowing. For the 1080p export, it took one minute and 42 seconds from the 2023 model. But in 2022, it took 47 seconds much, much faster in 2022. As we were doing the 4K export, the difference was not as dramatic. It was a 306 for 2023 versus a 250 in 2022. But we got really dramatic again when we exported 6K B-RAW. A 24 minute and 11 second export out of the 2023 model versus one of the best export times in 2022, which was a 13 minute and 52 second export time. Now let's take a look at playback. Of course, 4K playback is no problem for either of these laptops, but for 6K B-RAW, we saw 580 drop frames from 2022, but then we saw 624 drop frames, nothing earth shattering, but it was more from 2023. Now the one place we did see better performance was for 6K red footage. 712 drop frames for 2023 versus 3,399 for the 2022 model. So if you're a red footage user, you might wanna go with the newer model with the RTX 4060. Now remember, there's a few variations of this laptop for the GPUs. So keep in mind, I'm hoping to get a different one and we can see if we can get some better results because so far, I'm not seeing the love of upgrading to a 2023 or choosing between 2023 versus 2022. 2022 is still the best bang for buck right now, especially like I said, if you can get it on sale. Now, definitely click or tap the screen here if you wanna check out me upgrading this laptop to 32 gigs of RAM. Links in the description below if you're ready to make a purchase and I will see you in the next video.